Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the renaming of Mandela Highway. Now we are on Washington Boulevard heading towards Mandela Highway. But we had done a video, I think it was last week, where we had mentioned that they should rename Mandela Highway after a Jamaican. Now, based on the comments, I just want to clarify that we're not taking anything away from Mr. Mandela. Okay? We're not against anybody. We can name another road after him and we can name a park after him. But the busiest road in Jamaica should be named after a Jamaican. That is what we were saying. I just wanted to clarify because of the comments we were getting. Now, Mandela Highway takes you from the city of Kingston to Spanish Town and Portmore and also to the two major highways in Jamaica. So it is a very busy road. Now, chances are if you are in the city of Kingston or this side of the island, you're going to drive on Mandela Highway. I mean, Kingston is a city capital. A third of Jamaica's population lives in the city of Kingston, which is the capital. And probably another third live between Portmore and Spanish Town and the areas around there. Look at this bus on the right. Wow, that's like a double-decker bus. Very nice. That's not for the express. I didn't know they had buses like that. Very nicely done. You like to see the progress for Jamaica. So, if you live basically two-thirds of Jamaica probably will use that road at least once a week. So, I think it should be named after a Jamaica. A prime minister, a national hero. I mean, we have so many sports heroes. And another road named after Mr. Mandela. There is nothing wrong with that. This is a very busy road. This is Washington Boulevard. I'll let you know when we get on to Mandela. That is what we were saying. And I don't think that it's not hard to rename these roads. It's, I think it's just Parliament because they've named a section of the Northern Coastal Highway after other people and I will talk about that in another video. But this is what we were saying about this road. So guys, leave your comments in the section below and let us know what you think. All right, so this is the Boulevard Supercenter on the right. Very popular mall. That's actually the only mall in Jamaica that has three drive throughs KFC has a drive through Burger King has a drive through and Island Grill has a drive through Very successful plaza because of where it's located. You have a lot of communities, very large communities beside it. As actually a lot of communities off Washington Boulevard. It's, it has a supermarket. I mean, if you've been following the channel, you know you need three things for a successful plaza. Build it in a populated area. This area is very populated. Have um, food stores. They have KFC, Burger King, Island Grill among others inside, like a food court, but those are the main ones. And you need a brand name supermarket, and they have Lee's Food Fair over there, massive supermarket, so naturally, they do very well. And when you come off Mandela Highway, it splits into two. You can take Washington Boulevard towards Halfway Tree, Constant Spring, those areas, and you can take Spanish Town Road and head towards downtown Kingston.
that's one of the new JUTC buses on the right and these are some of the older ones So we are now going to be heading on to, as soon as we go under this bridge, we'll be going on to Mandela Highway. So the traffic on the right is where you exit from Mandela to come down onto Washington Boulevard. So this is now Mandela Highway and that traffic on the left where you just saw that bus come onto the road, that is a traffic coming from Spanish Town Road. So this is Mandela Highway, the busiest road in Jamaica. Now you guys, leave your comments, let us know what name you think they should rename this road after a Jamaica. Hi guys, thanks for taking the tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.